The College of Fine Arts at Carnegie Mellon University is a unique and extraordinary educational environment. Its exceptional history and reputation derive from an 85-year-long tradition of complete dedication to the arts, academic excellence, and active participation in the growth of our culture. Within the college is an exciting new interdisciplinary unit, the Studio for Creative Inquiry, dedicated to expanding the boundaries of and interaction between the traditional arts and disciplines. Work here has the intention of connecting creative individuals with the different departments of the college, the different colleges of the university, and within the surrounding community and its culture. One particular project under development at the studio is a computer-based interactive learning matrix called the ITEN, ATEN project, which stands for Interactive Teaching Network. The existing system is being developed for use with Apple Macintosh computers using color multimedia software and a laser video disc player. The ATEN system will facilitate a learner, whether a student, teacher, or researcher, to access both broad theme-related information and detailed object and site-specific data from a variety of different information sources. Animate images, still images and details, ancient source texts, modern analysis and commentaries, Emphasis will be on visualization and contextualization of objects, information, and ideas without fragmenting the diverse, interrelated elements of culture. Multiple accesses to the fields of knowledge and interdisciplinary navigation will permit individual conversation with an intense learning environment. The complete system would present related programs dealing with all the primary historic world cultures, Egypt, Greece, Rome, Byzantium, medieval and modern Europe in the Western tradition, and Islam, India, China, and Japan in the Eastern tradition. There would also be a program dealing with the aboriginal cultures of Australasia, Africa, and the Americas. The first screen allows the user to select the culture which is to be investigated, in this case, ancient Egypt. Selecting Egypt introduces the investigator to the multiple pathways which access the visual and textual information fields according to the preferences of general, fine arts, or academic interest. Selection of general opens up a menu of short five to six minute video presentations on the most popular areas of interest, such as daily life, temples, tombs, mummies, and pyramids. At the end of any path, such as the video presentation, a menu of associated study images and objects appears which connects with one or more synthesis study screens. Here, relevant informational materials are brought together for more detailed study from the other fields, such as architecture in fine arts and history in academic. The fine arts pathway accesses the visual and textual sources according to the perspectives of the departments of the College of Fine Arts, art, design, architecture, drama, and music. Each general heading leads to more specific subheadings and eventually to individual scenes or objects. These would be cross-referenced with the other information fields. Thus, art can lead through sculpture, stone, new kingdom, to King Thutmose III and his famous statue. 
The final screen of this sequence will then connect across to relevant materials in other fields, such as the 18th dynasty under history or Luxor temple under general. Selecting the academic pathway accesses the more traditional discipline bases of the field of Egyptology, such as history, language and literature, and economy, as well as science and culture. Selecting history will lead to specific periods or dynasties, and then to particular sites or individuals. Thus, New Kingdom, Thebes, Luxor Temple, will allow you to experience a walkthrough in real time of this spectacular temple. See details of the monument, and with synthesis study screens, learn about the importance of this building as a religious temple from the general menu, or as architecture from fine arts. Our intention is to use a multiple path design to allow a greater variety of individual experiences for any user. Further, the synthesis study screens will allow both the student doing research and the teacher preparing a presentation to use specific objects or areas of interest to correlate materials from the various information fields. It is in the synthesis study screens that objects and sites can be looked at in greater detail or manipulated by rotating, zooming, etc. The primary image or plan will be accompanied by a map and timeline for time-space reference, as well as a system locator for assistance in navigation. There will be a selection of other images, including important details, related objects and images. Textual materials will be present at three levels. A primary ancient text offering an indigenous perspective, a secondary text offering a modern analysis, comments or questions, and a tertiary text field where the user can develop notes and create new text. Ultimately, an objective is to have simultaneous on-screen collaboration possible, along with extended online connections to libraries and off-campus information networks and sources. In summary, we believe that interactive hypermedia environments comprise a totally new learning context where formal elements of culture can be interrelated in dynamic matrices. These matrices can present the learner with unified educational experiences. In quantity, but particularly in quality, this new plateau of information integration represents a major breakthrough in the management of the complexity and quality of information necessary for the development of global learning.